Hello. So we are solving the IIT JAM mathematics paper of uh, this year 2012. So now let's go back to this question number five. So this is a power series and we have to find the radius of convergence. So then let us consider a series. We define this series as un n q 4 to the power n x to the power 5 n. So you will be the series. So according to the D Alembert's criterion, this D Alembert criterion, or you can also say that the D Alembert ratio test of convergence of series. So if a sequence or if a series of positive number is convergent if from and after some fixed term so this is the sequence the ratio test so this will be less than one this particular number r this is a fixed term r is there so what is the convergent condition that limit n tends to infinity u n plus one by u n So it will be less than 1. So we will solve this power series and we will find the radius of convergence in using this dl numbered criterion. So let us find this. So we can write it in this form that u of n plus 1 divided by u n n plus 1 q by 4 to the power n plus 1 x to the power 5 n plus 1 divided by n q divided 4 to the power n x to the power 5n. Now as taking the limit as n tends to infinity, so we will find that this particular ratio un plus 1 by un will be 1 by 4 x to the power 5. And this will be nothing but less than 1 as per the convergent condition. So from here, we can find that x to the power 5, this is the limit, from limit we can get this. So this x to the power 5 is less than 4 and mod of x is okay so this is that fixed term so and this is the reason of convergence the roc the radius of uh, convergence so here we can find that this is the fifth root of 4 So our answer will be B. Okay. Okay. The next question is a uh, question number six. So let x n and y n be sequences of real numbers defined by. So we have this x one value given, y one 
value is 1 by 2, xn plus 1 and yn plus 1 is given for all set of natural numbers. So we have to find which uh, one of the following is true. So this is also a problem from the uh, real analysis part. So here it is uh, the x1 value and the y1 value are given and here you can find this it is an uh, given in the form of a uh, this one is an arithmetic mean okay and uh, this is the geometric mean of the particular se sequence x and y. So we know that according to the AMGM inequality that the arithmetic mean okay, of a list of non-negative real numbers is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of the same list. So this is the condition. Okay. So from this we can find that this AM that is the in this form the sequence x of n plus 1 is always greater than equal to the yn plus 1. So from here we can find that yn is a subsequence of xn. This yn plus 1 is a subsequence of x plus n plus 1. So in this case if xn is already convergent, then y n plus 1 is also convergent. Since y n is the subsequence of x n plus 1. So from that option A, you can see that x n is convergent, but y n is not convergent. So we can omit this option. So now we have to find this whether this sequence is a convergent sequence or not. And we know that what is a convergent sequence? The convergent sequence is said to be a sequence is said to be a convergent if it approaches some limit. So whether we have to find this, this is x n plus 1 and y n plus is approaching some limit or it is convergent condition. So if it is uh, uh, this converges, these two sequence convergence. So I have to see the convergent condition over here. And we know that every monotonic bounded sequence converges and unbounded sequence diverges. So we have the monotonic, sorry, yeah. so it will be bounded monotonic. So this is the condition for convergence of this sequence. So now it will be easy for us uh, so to see that we have already given uh, the value of x1 and y1 and we have to compute this particular value of xn plus 1 and yn plus 1. So I have already given the value of x1 and y1. So x1 is 1 and y1 is 0.5. What will be x2? You put the value over there, you will find that it will come as 0.75. This x1 plus y1 by 2, that is x2. Similarly for y2, it will be point seven zero seven it will be just one by root two for x three it is coming as point seven two nine y three point seven two eight So from this, you can just also calculate the other values and you can see some uh, x4 and uh, y4, something like that. So it will become like this, it will just uh, 
below this the next point of explore you will see that 0 0.728 or something like that and then y4 7285 uh, 0.7285 or 0.729 so that will be the value this value so from the value you can uh, you can have a conclusion that this x1 is always greater than x2 greater than this x3 so it will be just go like this and it will be always be greater than x n plus 1 and you can see the value is monotonically dec this uh, in uh, this not it will be decreasing so monotonically decreasing and from the y sequence y n you can find this y1 y3 so the value is getting increased and so obviously it will be less than y n plus 1 so it is a monotonically increasing sequence so from here we can get the condition these are uh, monotonic sequence so one of the condition is met now we have to find whether how this is a bounded sequence so in case of the bounded sequence we have this bounded above and bounded below okay from here you can see that so we can write this sequence in such a way that y when y this value particular so x x1 is uh, the one and y1 is half so you can write that half is always greater than this the y n plus one so it will be half is less than will be this y n plus one from the same we can find that we have written this condition x n plus one is always greater than y n plus one so here will be this half of y n minus one less than equal to n plus 1 and it is always less than this sequence will be always less than so you can find this both sequence is converging somewhat between this half and 1 so from this relation you can find that this x n is bounded above this particular this suppose this we can we know the from the definition that a n is always less than some real number k for the sequence to be bounded above and from here you can also find that the bounded below this 0.5 this particular sequence so from the bounded below sequence you can find this that a n this any sequence greater than any particular real number suppose this k so this sequence from here we can infer that this x particular this x n sequence is bounded above and this y1 sequence this y n sequence is bounded below so both series this x n and y n or our case this x n plus 1 and y n plus 1 or the x n and y n so these are the convergent so both are convergent so we can omit the option b also now we will look into this uh, option c uh, on d which is correct whether the, the, the limits are same and uh, whether the limits are uh, is greater than the limit of x n sequence is greater than the limit of y n so suppose this uh, hmm. suppose this x uh, uh, x of n and y of n this particular sequence we can write it like in this way so the suppose the xn is converging at limit n tends to infinity at uh, l1 and yn is also converging at a some point l2 
so putting that in the arithmetic mean that when limit n tends to infinity if you put that n, xn plus 1 it is converging to l1 and x l xn plus yn by 2 so l1 by l1 plus l2 by 2 so solving this we can find this both the limit is the same this l1 and l2 is the same so both are converging at the same point also from the data points that we have calculated before so after few calculations when you, when you want to calculate this particular x5 and uh, y5 you will find that the moreover this uh, the both the values the both the sequence are converging near about this uh, 0 0.728 okay so this is converging at the same point also so the limit is so uh, from the from here you can find that the limit is uh, this l1 is equal to l2 so in our case the option D will be correct. So both the sequence are convergent is xn and yn and the limit xn is equal to this limit of yn. So the limit uh, condition you can find from this data point also and from that putting that uh, to particular value after this taking the two limits. So you can just find this uh, put the limits this uh, value over here and you can calculate like that. So in this case uh, our correct option will be option D.